What's going on guys? Today we're back with another video. This time around, it's a requested video by a few of you in the comments section from previous videos. So today we're gonna to go over all the modifications the Ranger has done to it. Um, before we get into that, make sure to like and subscribe because we will be coming out with weekly content on off-roading, overlanding, and building the Ranger. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And let's get right into it. So before we cover the exterior of the Ranger, I wanted to go over the only interior mod that I've done to the Ranger, and that is the WeatherTech floor mats. Now these things are great, especially off-roading and getting money, as you can see. I have not cleaned the interior since our last trip, and uh, they do their job well. I mean, you literally the rugs fine underneath, you take them out, wash them out, put them back in, and you're good to go definitely worth the investment if you're gonna be off-roading and uh, getting dirty so starting off with the front our headlights they are kind of like a no-name Lariat style headlights I have a full review on them if you check the top right there's gonna be a link to that video you can watch it after but overall very good uh, super clean look improves the look and function of the headlights over the halogen ones moving on to the grill and front emblem they are just simply plasti dipped um, wasn't going to spend $120 for the set of emblems so ended up just plasti dipping those and they came out pretty well moving on from the grill we have going a little further down we have I put in a uh, still the factory fog light housing it just has a yellow bulb inside uh, I actually had those previously from a previous build so I just slapped them in there um, they work great at night for you know low visibility situations and I love the look of them as well so might as well throw them in underneath if you haven't seen is my ARB skid plates that I have I have a full install video on my channel if you want to go check that out after uh, these things definitely worth the money if you plan on doing any somewhat serious off-roading Definitely recommend this. I don't know how many times I've bashed them into something and I know my undersides are protected because That's some um, thick steel and pretty much ARB pretty much claims that you can put the whole weight of the vehicle on them And they're not gonna cave in and so far I haven't had any issues. So definitely recommend those Moving on to the side, we got obviously our big wheels and tires set up. Pretty much the most noticeable thing on the truck. So I got Kenda Clever RTs. They're 30, 33 by 10 and a half uh, on a 17 inch wheel. The wheel is an Alpha Equip Command 17 by 8, uh, 8, 8 and a half with a 10 millimeter offset uh, these wheels are freaking fantastic no complaints at all from them what's really cool about them is that they have a dual uh, valve stem setup so while I'm filling up tires at a trail I can have my gauge in this one and I can have my pump in this one and I can get accurate tire readings on all four tires which makes airing up way faster not having to constantly unplug my tire pressure uh, my air pump in order to check the tire pressure accurately behind the tires we got I got some Bilstein 6112s up in there it's a little muddy because of the off-roading but they're in there um, fantastic shock no complaints whatsoever they it's a two inch lift in the front to level out the uh, the truck because you know it has the uh, the dive from factory a little bit the two inch pretty much levels it completely out it's more than enough for what I need and these are a huge upgrade to ride quality over factory and honestly the best bang for your buck 
as far as suspension. Moving on to the side of the truck, obviously with the meteor wheels and more aggressive offset, I have these Bushwhacker OE style fender flares. Now these fender flares are fantastic. Um, I know some people hate them, some people love them. I've enjoyed them. I thought they were great. I think they're great for the price. I think they look fantastic. Um, this is the fitment currently in the rear with them. They bolt in right to the factory location when you remove the, uh, the factory like lips. They bolt right in. Um, it's a clean look. I, I personally hate the rivet style fender flares. That's, I just, some people like it. I just think it doesn't look like a clean finish in my opinion. So I got these and I think the truck looks great. It covers the excess tire so I don't have the tires bulging out um, and it gives it a little bit of a wider meaner stance which I love. So next up we have the Rally Armor mud flaps. These mud flaps serve a huge purpose in protecting the paint because as you can see these tires love to pick up rocks and once you get off the road and get on the main road and start going 40-50 miles an hour it starts throwing these rocks at your paint and I have a few rock chips just from that so I ended up getting these guys and they have definitely resolved that issue of not having any more rock chips in my paint which is great because uh, I, I love this color and I want to keep it as intact as possible. Next up is the new addition, newest addition to the truck is these light force spread pod lights and obviously the brackets. I'm gonna have a full review on them soon enough on the channel as I just installed them this previous weekend, but so far they're super bright and they're working. I'll be able to test them out this coming weekend um, at a trail um, that we're gonna be doing at an event that has some night trails that we're gonna be doing, so we'll see how they actually perform at night in the middle of a trail but so far super happy with them they look great they function great and for what I need it's enough lighting the two of them put off enough lighting for what I'm gonna be doing so moving on towards the rear of the truck under here would be my next mod moving back which is the custom exhaust that I made that I took to a shop and they made it for me uh, I'll have a full sound clip and review on this soon enough too, so you could even take it to a shop and build your own. It's super great, it gives the truck a nice throaty sound, uh, No, absolutely no drone on the highway. And what's great about this exhaust is um, I also get more clearance so I don't bang the exhaust up on anything. So the problem that I had before um, that I was worried with and I had seen in the forums and a few people that I know had happened to, the, the stock exhaust, depending on how you come down, I've seen it where it's been banged up into the back of your bed and it ends up denting your bed. So to avoid that, I ended up doing uh, cutting it off over the axle. So another thing, it's not really a mod, but a factory option, but you can't see it with the naked eye is, yes, this truck does have a rear locker optioned out, an electronic rear locker. I tend to typically not use them on trails because I always want to see what the stock, you know, if I was just, you know, at a regular four x four Ranger would have. And this thing is pretty capable without the rear locker. The rear locker definitely does help on some of the more technical or you need that little bit of oomph, but that way it clears it up. Yes, it does have an, a rear locker on it. All right, so now moving to the top of the bed, we got the Pace Edwards switchback rollable tonneau cover. I ended up getting this one because originally the plan was I was gonna put a uh, bed rack and I didn't want one of those tri-folding ones because it was gonna kind of be a pain to flip it every time I was trying to get stuff. Uh, this, this tonneau cover is great. I uh, had, have had no issues with it other than you have to kind of every once in a while lube up these uh, um, seals, these rubber seals, so that way it slides smoothly. But other than that, 
it does a pretty good job and gets the job done. You do lose a little bit of bed space back here, obviously, where it rolls up, but for what I needed, it worked perfectly. Now, after opening up the tonneau cover, we revealed my spray and bed liner. Um, it's a bullet liner, works great. Definitely recommend, I had the plastic original, um, you know, the floored plastic bed liner, and I hate it because one, anything you put in the bed, it just slides all around the bed. And two, over time, they start scratching underneath the paint, underneath the bed liner, so, and then eventually start rusting. So I didn't want any of those issues, so I ended up taking it out, selling it, and spraying it with the bed liner, and it's worked great. Um, I've thrown, I've thrown a bunch of stuff in here and it's never, it's never cracked or scratched or anything. And what's good about Bullet Liner, as, as well as a few other companies, is they have a lifetime warranty. So if, if the bed liner would ever get damaged, they respray it for free. So that's a cool warranty and a nice feature to have. And obviously you can see, I also have a video on this, the DZ tailgate dampener and it works great it does its job and makes life a little bit easier other than that the only other thing that i have done to this truck is mine did not come factory with a tow package i did not option it out like that i actually went for a cheaper alternative with a u-haul hitch and uh module so I got that and then I have a Red Arc brake controller and overall it comes out to significantly cheaper than if you packaged the, uh, the tow package from Ford. So I ended up going that route and I've towed a few things with this and it does great. A uh, little Easter egg if you haven't seen. So the whole theme of the truck is Yoda. Uh, I like Star Wars and stuff like that, so if you haven't noticed, people think I'm talking about Toyota and th people think I come from a Tacoma, but no, the truck's theme is Yoda. That's why I have the license plate cover, the license plate, and then 4x4 four four this Ranger is with a little picture of Yoda. But other than that, that's pretty much what the Ranger has. Well, that sums up the parts on the Ranger. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know if you have any ideas or anything you want to see on the channel. As I said earlier in the video, I'm gonna be coming out with weekly videos. So, hey, I need some ideas. So if you have anything you wanna see or want to see done, leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next week.